project here. Starting to paint the house. So we've got these really nice old casement, Anderson casement windows. They're six feet high. And they came in packages of four, I guess, all together, which they quit selling in the late 1980s. <laughs> and I got on the bottom of these rot. Rot, 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 rot. And then this trim piece here is all rotted out here too. And it's, uh, of course, I can't buy the replacements anymore. The windows themselves are also rotted out. And this one on the bottom. So they do make, they do sell the, those are called the sashes. They do sell these windows. So I can replace that. But this is going to have to be I'm gonna to have to create, recreate this piece of trim right here somehow. And then I'm gonna cut out the sash right here. Now this is the sill. I'm gonna cut out this sill all here and try to try to recreate that too. Fun. Let's see if I can figure this out. Well, we know a little bit more now. So we kind of figured out where the rot's coming from. That was pretty easy. extent we didn't know so if you look that goes right under the window right into the house we had to cut cut the rotten two by fours out there's a one by on the top right there there's a one by and then a two by and you can see they're all completely rotten so they put two by fours the floor actually came all the way out that's interesting. And then they put the, so that's the subfloor. That's the plywood. That sits right on the joists right there. These are the wood floors. And then this is a two by four that sat on the wood floor. And then there was another two by and a one by on top of that. And then this whole window frame sat on top of that. So it leaked and continued to leak and rotted. And we're going to try to, uh, Replace what we can, not all of it. We'll put some fiberglass epoxy in there. To try to stop the rot that's going on. And then I'll cut a new piece. I'll probably take this piece out right here because it's cracked. And uh, it looks like somebody stepped on it or something. It's cracked. Uh, and then uh, try to fix this. I don't know what I'm going to do about this one. I'm going to have to try to recreate this shape right here on this for this one. And that one, and another one down the way there. There's three of them. Oh, oh, fun stuff. Tear apart your house. All right. So this piece is all ready to go in. All sanded. Cut the back of it for drip edge. Cut this out so it fits level. So we're going to put it in there. It rides in this slot right here. Hopefully it'll go in. And then uh, we're going to mix up a bunch of sawdust. It's sawdust here. I'll take a whole lot of sawdust with a whole lot of wood glue. And we're going to glue all of this and glue the back of this in. Then we're going to fill in where we can with uh, sawdust mix thick paste to try to fill in some of these places that are damaged. Let's see what happens. First we'll put glue on on here lots of glue and I don't want to put any fasteners in the top of this because that just lets water in and we don't want to do that hmm all right don't mess with me now go in you went in before. Don't play games. Good. Yeah, good. 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 This is good. Oh, pretty close. Okay. Now let's see if we can get some nails in there. Is these long enough? Use the original holes. I'd like. 
I hate it when the nails bend over. Finished nails seem to always do that. It's because they're thin, small. I'm not really a finished carpenter. I'm not a carpenter at all, actually. I'm a hack. It's a big old nail. Let's try this one. Do I have any more of those? Here's one. Okay. Nice, nice, nice! Alright, now what we need to do is take the sawdust, mix in a bunch of glue. So we got that nice mix there. Put a bunch of glue in there. Well, what's that do? It, it makes up like a paste, you know, with with uh, with the sawdust. Yeah. And then what you can do is like for filling big stuff like this. Oh, that's cool. And then you uh, you do that, and then you got you got something to sand, but something that looks like wood, right? Because it is wood. <laughs> there. Then we can force this down into these cracks here. a little bit in there and a little bit right there and we'll come back and caulk all this too put that little piece of trim back in there that'll work yep that works for me okay yeah so we've got putty covering these and there's a little bit of rot right there that I don't want to cut out so we get the putty in here we'll let the hopefully this will all dry hard then we'll come back here with a sander sand all this prime it and paint it the next is this piece I've got that piece in now the the sill is in and we're gonna put this this is called a mullion we're gonna I think it's a mullion we're gonna put that mullion in right there May not be exactly right, but I think with a paint you won't know the difference. So it'll look like look kind of look like that, huh? Hey, it's not bad for a hack. Since that pile right there is all rot, it's all rotted wood that we took out um, and a leaf, but the rest of it's all rotted wood. Came out of places like that, corners of windows where the uh, water is sucked up in the bottom here. So there's a thing called Durham's wood putty that uh, I used to fix a lot of the windows. And then I had to cut pieces uh, on the table saw to try to match that trim. Uh, that was in there a little crooked. And uh, to fix this one, that was all rotted. And that corner was rotted out. So I cut a, piece, put a couple pieces of wood and put it in there. And we'll sand all of that. This was all a mess. I had to cut a piece behind here. That was all rotted out. And uh, let's see what else we got. A, these are called sashes. These big pieces here with the windows. We got two that are are um, fogged. So I've got a new one here that's going to go in that piece. And then this window, the whole sill was rotten. So I had to make a new sill and uh, kind of try to match it in with the other one. And all of this part had to be had to make this piece and this piece behind here and put these in so we're about to caulk and then when i took the cedar out there down at the floor behind that cedar is some um uh flashings metal flashing to keep the water out and it was all corroded and rotten so i put a bunch of foam back there insulation which should Hopefully, we'll start sanding now and putting this all back together and try to get some paint on it. Stop it from rotting for a couple more years anyway.